I can't eat and pretend that I'm eating well um, because eating period is not good. So today is Wednesday and tomorrow is when I start my liquid diet for two weeks. So today I'm making some poor decisions. Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. Um, if you've joined me before, you will know that I'm on my um, liquid diet for my upcoming gastric bypass. Um, I'm on day two. I will admit that I, I was naughty and I did go out for my last supper for my gut buster. And I had a giant steak and it was amazing and I am so glad I did um, because I know basically that for the next probably six months I'm not going to be I'm not going to be eating it's I'm going to have such little food that it was my it was my last hurrah so I'm glad I did that um my so day two of the um of the liquid diet first diet first first diet the first day was okay um, because I'm on the Azempic and it slows down my um, my stomach, uh, I, I felt that I, I wasn't hungry that first day. Actually, I had a tummy ache from eating too much the day before. Um, but today, um, today the body's changing a bit more. Not changing sort of physically. Um, the stomach is gurgling and burbling and bubbling and I've got the worst gas. <laughs> I have to sneak off to the washroom so many times at work and then yeah it just it, it rattles the walls. <laughs> I just have to pray nobody comes in there after me. So um, why am I doing the liquid diet? Um, when you have gastric surgery, whether it's a sleeve or whether it's a bypass, your liver sits over your stomach. So doing a liquid only diet for, for two weeks will shrink the liver and it allows the surgeon to have a much better access to, to where he needs to get to. So that is, that's why um, I'm doing the liquid diet. Um, luckily it's only two weeks, it could have been up to six weeks, so I'm, I'm pretty glad that it's two weeks. Um, being mentally ready for this stage though is, is a little different. Um, I know I can't cheat, I know I can't break what I'm doing, I know it's only day two, but it's, if I try and trick myself or I try and if I try and eat something that I'm not supposed to eat, I'm the only person it's hurting. When if, if I break that diet and they say we can't go through with the surgery, I'm the only person who has lost out. And I've been waiting for this for so long that uh, I, I don't want to jeopardise it. So I know that there'll always be temptations. And I just have to be strong enough to, to resist those temptations. Um, luckily, um, I, I don't drink alcohol and I don't smoke, so that's two addictions that I haven't had to give up, but food has always been the addiction for me, so th that's hard. Um, there has been, I, I can say there's been more hunger signals today but I think it's just because everything's moving out of my stomach. It's, um, I've been head hungry, but not stomach hungry. Head hungry is when you're thinking, oh, you haven't eaten, you haven't put anything in your mouth, you need to, you need to eat, you haven't, 
you haven't chewed anything today. Um, so it's just that, that food noise that goes on in your head telling you, you, even if you're not hungry, you should be eating. But uh, that will, that will, if I listen to that, that will veer me off track really quickly. Um, so what have I been doing to to stick with the liquid diet? I have to have four and a half bottles of of the glucerna. Um, so I've broken that out into four four hourly s sections. So I have one at six, one at ten, one at two, one at six. And the one at six, I have to have extra protein, so I put the protein powder in that one. Um, and I just set a timer on my watch, um, try and keep myself busy, try and do some crafting, try and get myself into, into projects at work so that I don't think about <laughs> heading down to the cafeteria and, and, and grabbing a cookie. Um, so, so, yeah. So, I can't... I can't eat and pretend that I'm eating well um, because eating period is not good. I I have to go the whole hog. I, it's, it's the all or nothing for me. So <sighs> yeah, so I, I I'm doing okay. It's been really smoky here with all the forest fires, so I haven't been able to do much walking. And it's been too hot, so it's been like 33 degrees and thick smoke. So pretty much staying indoors. Um, I think, I hope, um, it's the weekend tomorrow. So I hope being at home at the weekend and not eating is going to be easier than being out and not eating, being at work and not eating. Um, I've cleared out of my, everything from my fridge and my pantry that everything I can't eat, so there is no temptation there at all. Um, what else? There's not much, not much else to, to think about. Um, to say it's still very early days, still dealing with my stomach, getting used to liquids only. Um, yeah, that's about it. Sorry, it's not a very long update today, but uh, hopefully I'll have more for you next week. Okay, take care. Bye. It would really help me out if you like and subscribe.